Go. <laughs> Go and exercise, uh, acute exercise, the muscles will need more oxygen uh, in order to get rid of any waste products such as uh, carbon dioxide so it can work to their full potential. Oxygen is carried in the haemoglobin uh, of the blood, uh, so, uh, so therefore more blood, the more blood must be pumped out, uh, out of the heart in order for the oxygen to be transported to the working muscles. The blood supply will increase uh, in order to get oxygen transported uh, around the body. For example, when an athlete such as Cristiano Ronaldo warms up, they will do pulse rating activities such as jogging. This will increase the amount of blood that is being pumped as the athlete uh, will require more oxygen to get rid of any carbon dioxide to ensure the muscles work to their full potential. Increased muscle pliability. When an athlete warms up, more blood will be pumped around the body and therefore more oxygen is getting to the muscles. This will result in the body temperature increasing, which allows the muscles to, uh, tissues to get warmer. The warmer the muscle tissue becomes, the more pliable it is. When Cristiano Ronaldo does, uh, um, begins to warm up, more blood uh, will be pumped around his body and the temperature will increase. This will allow the muscle tissues to warm up and his muscles uh, will be more pliable, which will ensure that he's able to stretch for the ball as far as he can and allow the body to stretch to its full potential. Increased range of movement. When an athlete starts to warm up, more synovial fu uh, fluid uh, is produced in the joints, which allows the joints to move quickly and smoothly without any friction or injury. The joints become warmer and therefore the synovial fl uh, fluid becomes thinner, allowing movement to be more efficient. This will ensure that uh, Ronaldo can uh, run for a long period of time, make short fast bursts and quick turns without any friction and pre uh, preventing any injury for him. Muscle fibre and uh, micro tears. During exercise, uh, minute tears um, occur within the muscles. When the muscles are put under a lot of stress, such as weightlifting, they can cause small tears in the muscles called microfiber tears. When at rest, the muscles can repair these tears uh, in the muscles and add more protein, which results in muscle growth. An example of this would be uh, weightlifting. Fossil creatine system. This increases. Uh, this increases as it's used more uh, as it is used for acute, uh, short, fa and fast-paced exercises such as uh, the 100 meter race and uh, short bursts of energy, uh, such as weightlifting. The lactic acid system is an anaerobic energy system and uh, is used for sports such as a 400 meter race and would be no good for a long-distance sports such as. Um, 10,000 meter race. The aerobic system is used for long distances such as a marathon of 50,000 meter race and will be no good in a short, short burst of energy such as a weightlifting or 100 meter. Increased breathing rate. When the breathing becomes uh, involuntary, um, during exercise it will automatically uh, increase and, there, uh, and the athlete will begin to breathe heavier in order to get more oxygen in the body to get rid of any waste products such as carbon dioxide. When breathing is voluntary, the athlete chooses to breathe heavier as they may feel they need oxygen and uh, therefore will begin to breathe faster and harder. An example of this um, would be a 100 metre race. After a 100 metre race, um, the athlete's chemoreceptors will send messages to the brain which makes the athlete breathe heavier. This is chemical control. Increased tidal volume. During uh, acute exercise, an athlete's tidal volume will increase as they will not need um, as they will need more oxygen. The athlete will take in more oxygen um, in one breath and exhale more in, uh, in one breath out. How are you done? <laughs>